All right, so we've got here a 180 gig OCZ Vertex 2 SSD. Uh, this solid state drive is going to be going in and replacing my other SSD, or not replacing, it's going to replace my optical drive. So this comes with a 3.5 inch spare bracket if you need to use it. Um, but here's the drive itself. It's very lightweight, uh, really nice texture, not that that matters. But uh, overall, it's going to be an awesome drive. 285 megabyte read, 275 megabyte write. So we're going to get started here. Uh, we've got a cloth down. We've got our tools, our screwdriver, our solid state drive, and our uh, ink, our our optical uh, opti bay. It's called for the 15 inch MacBook Pro. There are four screws on each of the long sides, and then one screw on each of the other sides. So we're just going to quickly go through here and. Uh, just unscrew all these. Um, it's fine. I found it easier to just unscrew them all first, and then uh, while I was waiting for a magnetic screwdriver, I just decided to pick them out, and that was easy. One thing to do is just kind of lay them out all around exactly where they're going to go back. It makes it a lot easier. So we're going to take that off. Normally, there's a cable under there, or just a piece of tape holding it in. Uh, so be careful of that. It's not connected to anything. It's just kind of there. Uh, so here's the inside of the MacBook Pro. You got your two fans, your optical drive, your battery, your RAM, and the solid state drive in there. Let's just give you a closer look at that. Uh, it's pretty neat in there, and uh, it was a little dusty, so I cleaned off the dust once we were done here. But uh, basically, the next step is to take off the bracket that holds in the current solid state drive. And be careful with this. This uh, all in one SATA connector comes off, and then the four screws on the edges of the current SSD come off so that the other one can go on in that spot. I'm using this one as the main drive, and I'm putting the old, drive, the old SSD in the uh, optical drive. So we're just going to put those on and put those off to the side. So now what we need to do is actually unhook the cable that's connecting the optical drive. I'm pretty sure you could go without this step, um, but there's a little, there's that piece of foam was sitting on top. Uh, that need to come off first. Um, you have to be very careful with this. I think you do need to take this out though. It's going all around the drive. You could probably figure it out to do it without it, but you should take it off. It's just a very thin cable. Be very, very careful. That's why I'm being so ginger with it, because I do not want to bend it, and you do not have another one of these. So just kind of push it and wiggle it very, very lightly, left to right, and it will uh, slide flat out. Okay? just like that, lift it up. It's kind of glued to the optical drive, so just kind of pull that up a little bit and unstick it. And then uh, once that's done, there's uh, one, two, three screws holding the optical drive in. Go ahead and take off uh, those three screws. Um, one, two, and three. There we go. And then uh, it's loose. There's one more thing you have to do. There's a cable right here. This is the actual cable that's connecting the optical drive. It is a SATA little connector. It's a pop-up connector. So just kind of lift gently on it, and then lift a little bit more afterwards, and it will pop up. Don't be scared when you hear a little popping sound like that, although you can't hear it because I got rid of the audio. But uh, it's fine right there. So now this is a very small connector, but that's the last connector you need. So now this could be able to just lift right out of the uh, MacBook Pro here. So once I can actually get my hand under it, we can pull this out. Uh, now you can see this uh, <clears throat> this cable here, right there. Uh, that's a proprietary connector, so just kind of wiggle that back and forth to get that out. And we're going to go ahead and put this right put this right away into the opti bay because that's that's the next step. So we're just going to take that exact cable and plug it in. And they've made this specifically for this model, so we know it'll fit and it just slides right in nice and neat. Okay, So now we're just going to try and get the SSD in and realizing that you can't do that, you actually have to take off the, the front cover. So let's go ahead and zoom out and go ahead and take off four screws connecting this, slide in the old SSD right into place, pushing a little hard to get it in, it actually wasn't super easy, and then put the closure back on making sure you got it nice and snug so it lays flat, screw in all four screws back onto that, slide it exactly back in, connect that one connector. Um, now what you had to do there is actually take off another piece of black rubber to get it back in. Slide that cable back in, and then put the new SSD in, put the enclosure back on, and go ahead and close the MacBook back up. Go ahead and put your screws back in. This actually took me a minute because I for some reason lost a screw and couldn't figure out which one it was. I'm only going to do three screws now so we can test it make sure it works before we do all of them, making sure I don't hear any rattling from the sal from the any parts that I might have lost in there. Open it up. Moment of truth. Will she turn on? 
will she detect the old hard drive. The new hard drive will not be detected because it's not formatted. So, good sign that it turned on. It means there's no electrical problems. And hey, there is the old solid state drive. I'm holding the alt key just to, just to be sure. Uh, so it's going to, and because this drive that I'm booting from right now is on the optical drive, uh, the OptiBay. This is not booting off of the OCZ drive. So I'm happy with it because it seems like it's starting. Note this is booting off the old drive on the uh, on the optical drive SATA. So it's a little slower. Uh, it's not that slow. I mean, it's still a solid state drive, but it's a lot, it's half as fast as the OCZ. So once it's up, uh, we're just going to shut it down and put in the rest of the screws to close it all back up. And once I'm done with that, again, like I said, I had a, an issue or two trying to find the right screw. So probably should have sped this up to like 2,000 percent because I'm realizing. Here we go. But I'm just proving to you there's both drives now detected after I formatted it. I went to Disk Utility to do so. Alright, so we're going to open SuperDuper. We're going to select our solid state drive as our copy, and we're going to select our OCZ drive as our 2 drive. We're going to choose the backup all files option, and then we will just hit copy now. And that will start copying, once we authenticate, that will start copying, and go ahead and agree. Even though I'm currently using the solid state drive that I want to be copied, I can go ahead and copy and this will this will make an exact bootable duplicate copy of the current solid state drive which is in the optical drive and make it to the OCZ drive which is in the spot that the old hard drive was in and then once that's done I can boot up right into that drive no problem